Hey everybody, so I'm Gadget Guy here, and we will be wrapping up our review on the Y50 Gaming Notebook, the long-term review, just what my experiences have been using this monster machine from Lenovo. But I did want to check in real quick and share my experiences on what this machine has been like to use as a video editing workstation. Now, I'm not as hardcore a gamer as I used to be, but producing videos from YouTube has introduced a series of very interesting challenges requiring me to own very powerful PCs. So the combination of an Intel Core i7 with an NVIDIA GTX 860M has actually been pretty sweet for cutting up video. Now, my home PC is an aged workstation with a second generation Core 2 quad core CPU, though I did upgrade it with an NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti. The guts on this laptop are a lot newer. Now, I do most of my cutting in Sony Vegas Pro, and you, you guys can go ahead and make fun of me there. I, I get it. I know I'm not on the winning side with that one. But after years of using SoundForge and Acid, this just sort of made the most sense to me when I was learning how to cut video, so I've just sort of stuck to it. Thankfully, over the last couple generations, generations of Sony Vegas, they have included much better support for GPU computing. So the dedicated NVIDIA GPU is actually being put to really good use here. As my channel has evolved into shooting more high frame rate video, now all my videos are being shot at 60 frames per second, and a number of my camera reviews are actually being produced at UHD resolutions, uh, my old workstation has really struggled to keep up with that kind of workload. And so as I'm playing through this timeline here, I'm actually previewing 4K video, and it's doing a reasonably good job of keeping this going. I did have to reduce the quality settings to half, but I'm also using less than a quarter of the screen for my preview here. Now, the 4K screen on this thing has been both a blessing and a curse, in that I've got a ton of dots to do even a smaller preview window, but, and this is embarrassing, and someone please drop me a comment if they know a solution for this, down at the bottom of my timeline, all of these little controls are sort of resolution dependent, and they don't know what to do with a UHD screen on this laptop. There hasn't been any settings that I could get into that I could find that could make these buttons more reasonable to use. So you have all of these tiny controls, which can actually be really difficult to adjust. All of the attributes that make this a solid gaming laptop translate really well into this being a really solid mobile workstation. Even down to the fan, the cooling equipment built into this machine is actually fairly quiet. The fan's kicked on full bore right now, and it's more of a soft whisper or a suggestion of cooling rather than the buzzsaw sounds we used to get from older laptops. And lastly, this brings me down to how well this machine can render. So I've got two links at the bottom of this video from one of my most recent phone reviews. And it's not even ultra high definition video, but it is high frame rate. So I shot this video at 60 frames per second, and I did the initial render off of my home workstation with that 560Ti, and I was in such a rush to get the review uploaded that I didn't actually do my due diligence in watching all 20 minutes of the review to make sure that it was okay, and unfortunately in the middle, I got a ton of glitches and screen tearing, just really ugly stuff. In a fit of desperation, I threw the exact same video project on the Y50, and while it didn't render any faster, that, that I actually was kind of surprised. It took almost exactly the same time to render, which makes me think that Sony Vegas might actually have some kind of bottleneck in how much GPU computing it can do. The video that this machine produced was far more stable. I do have a couple dropped frames going through that video, but there is none of the glitching or screen tearing that I have from the video that came off of the 560 Ti. So while I don't have any kind of speed advantage, the fact that this is being cooled off of laptop fans and internals, and it produced a video I could actually share without embarrassment, made me extremely happy to have the Y50 in my arsenal right now. So folks, just a few thoughts on using the Y50 in a more professional capacity than its original design. This is a gaming laptop, but Everything that makes a gaming laptop cool for gaming does a pretty good job of translating over into things like audio and video editing. And we will be doing a long-term wrap-up on the Y50 when it's time to send this back to Lenovo. Uh, spoiler alert, I will actually be kind of sad to see this one go. Just a nice loving caress before it's time for us to part ways. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, uh, subscribing to this channel, dropping me all those amazing comments down below. As we're getting close to wrapping up the Y50, if you have questions about this UHD touchscreen beast, definitely drop me some comments down below so that we can address those questions in our long-term wrap-up. And I would not be able to continue producing videos and reviews like these if you folks weren't out there sharing my videos with your family, friends, and on social media. So I cannot thank you enough for bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.